Hey Timmy, what's up? It is me again, doing the doing it. And well, you may know already, so welcome to my last video of this year. And what is it about? Just read below. A brief summary of what happened during this year. So let's jump into the past and see what happened. February. Oh boy, February. It all started there. I bought a laptop and I started watching videos and doing so many stuff. So one day I decided, hmm, what if I start my own YouTube channel? It sounds pretty cool. So let's start. I swear I started to ask so many of my friends their thoughts on the name that I choose, do not do not. And I got so many feedback saying, yeah, it's nice, yeah, do it, go ahead, yeah, whatever. So I did the channel that way. I uh, created a banner. It was pretty shitty, guys, honestly. And you will not be able to watch it, mainly because I lost it somewhere. It is better there. <coughs> lost, in a way. And I also created uh, what I think was my first logo. You can Google it, but anyway, here it is. Picture got uh, out of Google, actually. So, with that done, I started to do so many research about how to upload videos, how to edit, and how to upload copyright because, yes, my goal is to create a gaming channel. With all of that, I created the channel and with that came my first subscriber here, Israel or Godzilla, Mons. You may remember him of two Overwatch videos and the pumpkin contest, which, yes, he won, I admit it. Good work, dude. I still miss pumpkin channel. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, I uploaded my first video ever, which was my introduction. Um, not even a trailer, but me saying, Hey, I'm so excited to start in here. And yes, you will get to watch at least one part of the video. And also, yes, it is in Spanish, because my channel used to be in Spanish at first. Hey, ¿qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Mi nombre es Donar Donar. Eh, la verdad estoy muy emocionado por empezar este nuevo canal con ustedes A uh, los que hayan visto eh, el asombroso logo que está aquí abajito Sabrán que este será un canal dedicado a videojuegos Oh, I'm so cute, just look at me <laughs> I even got a haircut for that video, I'm not lying I got a haircut just to record that and the following videos So, I got Bandicam and I was ready to upload my first video my first gaming video, which was, oh my god, it was such a struggle to get with. It was supposed to be Tales from the Borderlands, the total game from Borderlands. And well, as soon as I recorded it, I started editing and I started rendering it. It took almost all night. So, with the computer I have, with the laptop I have, there were like uh, three or four hours of waiting before the video got fully rendered. So, I left the video rendering the whole night while I went to sleep. So Windows 10 was like, hey, hey, wait up, wait up, wait up. It is more important for you to download and update the phone application that you will never use than rendering the video that you're going to upload. So, I'm going to stop you rendering, stop everything you're doing, and restart my own, because you need that phone update. And I was like, really, what the fuck? When I woke up, computer was off. So, after putting it up, I noticed that the video did not render and was impossible for me to upload an incomplete video. And yes, it happened like two or three times in a row. Anyway, I got to finish with the rendering and I finally got to upload it. I did, so I had to be out by the time I started uploading the video. So I left uploading and went away. So I was walking on the street and I received a notification, uh, an email that said, hey, guess what? Your video just had been flagged for copyright. Really? And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Seriously? Yeah. It happens that and one minute of the video, part of the soundtrack contained a song with copyright and YouTube flagged it. Like I told you, I had no idea what I was doing on YouTube. I still have no idea. But anyway, let's get back on uh, topic. 
I ended up del deleting the, the video, re-editing it, and uploading it without that scene to avoid copyright, and it worked. It started to work on the second video, starts struggling a lot, so I rage quit from that video. That game is a course for me. I never got to <laughs> fully play it or to fully record it, and I deleted all <laughs> any video existing of them. So it's possible for you to find it anymore. So moving on, my first official gaming video, Among the Sleep, our game, and I remember getting a candle to light the room to get into the atmosphere before I realized it was not the candle, the one that was lighting my setup, but the screen of my laptop. It was a, yeah, it was a fail, but it was a nice touch, you gotta admit that, it was a nice touch. Also got into some um, face YouTube Facebook groups, and I got to meet uh, people like Vimeo who made my actual banner. Thank you very much Vimeo, muchas gracias por el banner. Thank you a lot. You did this for free. And I kept on doing videos. I started doing videos only Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on a regular basis, every week. Moving on, everything remained the same uh, up until May. I used Bandicam, remember? So I used the option that Bandicam would record at the an overlay in my face, uh, well, my webcam footage on the video. So I kept on doing that until May. May everything changed guys. I bought a camera, the one that I use right now, to improve the quality on my videos and on my face cam during gameplays. Also my first video with, uh, with the camera was my last video as well in Spanish. After that I switched languages to English to what I'm to what I am doing right now. You can watch the video here with my explanation. Yeah it was my first attempt to vlog, I believe. Let's say it was a vlog. Anyway, with me switching... Um, anyway, in the meantime, while I was doing videos in Spanish, I got to call up with one uh, really, really good friend in real life, Daniel Chavez from Mundo Chavez. We played together, who's your daddy? And it was, uh, it was really fun to, to play with. Well, he's a really, really cool guy, if you want to check him out, well, not him, he's, he's really ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daniel! <laughs> no, honestly, uh, if you want to check his channel out, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So, I got with him playing uh, this game, and it was pretty, pretty, pretty fun. And with me switching of language, and with me switching to English, I also moved from Spanish YouTube Facebook groups into English ones, which I met uh, incredible people. I remember getting kicked out of one of the groups with no reason, like two or three times. I spoke with, the, with one of the admins, she said, Oh, I didn't know you were kicked out, so request to join again and I will accept you. I sent the request, and a day after, I got kicked out again. Yeah, it was fucked up, and I still don't know what happened. But anyway, I moved to different groups and I got to meet amazing people for example, DJ Skelly Yolo, who I call up with uh, playing Brawlhalla, but we all know he cheated, right? He did cheat, I know what you did, DJ Skelly Yolo, and I want my rematch. I got to meet so many other people as well, like Laura or the Lauren Silla. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, she's an European YouTuber who uploads uh, gaming videos, gameplays. Um, Wolfie Loves Link, a cute girl who uploads video of herself playing the clarinet, which by the way I think is pretty hard to own a music channel and you're doing a great job, girl. Jimon Sabbath, crazy guy who uploads, um, I don't know how to classify his videos, so you should definitely check him out. He's hilarious, <laughs> though. It's like fun facts videos, if that's how I can classify them. And of course, that big beautiful bastard of Jimmy Dean Rodeo, who owe me a collaboration. Dude, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> really eager to call up with you. We gotta call up soon, right? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, and well, lastly but not last, 
I've got to meet five crazy guys. And when I say crazy, I really mean crazy guys. In a good way. And of course I'm talking about you, Jimbo, EGBO, Aidan, Dan and Sian. At first I thought they were nothing more than trolls. Honestly, they kept on posting homosexual comments on my Instagram photos. Comments like, fist me, or oh I wanna fuck you so bad. <laughs> They're so crazy. And I blocked them from social networks because I didn't know how to handle these kind of <laughs> comments. So after that I got uh, private messages saying, oh I'm sorry, please unblock me. I'm actually a big fan of yours and I really didn't mean to make you mad. So please unblock me and unblock my friends. And I was like, wow. Yeah, they even created a, a chat group in Instagram called Biggest Fans. Guys, I really, really feel flattered about the way you named the chat and that you just took the time to create it. Honestly, I I don't even know what to say. Really feel flattered about it. I uh, have nothing more to say, but thank you. Really and honestly. Nothing more I can say. I'm not used to it. Anyway, this was a brief uh, summary of what's been happening during this, uh, during this year. It was an amazing year. And, well, only thing left to do is for me to wish you a happy new year. So, from the bottom of my heart, Jimbo, PGBO, Aidan, Sian, Dan, Eduardo, teammates, uh, Israel, Daniel, people around the world. Happy new year. And if you're watching this, thank you very much for watching, uh, for keeping with me. We're teammates, remember that. And we will rock 2017.